overview lecture, we will discuss some of the important concepts, principles, methodologies, and tools involved in a lean strategy. By the end of this lecture, you will be able to define what a lean strategy is, understand what the five main principles of lean are, know how lean relates to the Toyota production system, and understand what the benefits of focusing on waste reduction could be. Lean is an ever-developing strategy. Over the years, it has transformed into a powerful combination of many different continuous improvement strategies, borrowing from strategies like total quality management, the theory of constraints, total productive maintenance, and even from Six Sigma. So, why would a company want to go lean? There are many benefits associated with going lean, and every company will undertake the strategy for reasons that are specific to their needs. Companies go lean for benefits like increased efficiency, more market share, increased cash flow, and a better ability to meet customer demands. We can understand these benefits even better when we answer the question, what is lean? Mm. Formally defined, lean is a continuous improvement strategy that a company embarks on to maximize customer value and minimize waste. A lean organization focuses on providing complete value or value-added activities to their customers. One of the ways that lean accomplishes this is through the complete and total elimination of waste. In lean, we refer to waste as MUDA. This term describes any activity that adds no value to a product or service. Some examples of MUDA are waiting, workarounds, and rework, which we refer to as overprocessing, transportation, defects, and overproduction. While Lean does focus heavily on the elimination of waste, you will see that the framework of this continuous improvement strategy is based on so much more. The House of Toyota is a graphical representation of the Toyota production system. A lean journey can be understood with this framework. It will also show how the different parts of lean work together to create a lean organization. The basic function of any roof is to offer protection from the elements for people and their possessions. In Lean, this roof represents the goals that you are trying to achieve. For example, the highest quality, the lowest cost, and the shortest lead time. Much like a roof, a clearly defined vision, mission, values, and objectives provides protection that is sustainable for an organization and its people. But how do we support these goals? Like the roof on a home, your goals need support or they will never accomplish their purpose. The goals or roof must be upheld by two pillars. The pillars of a lean strategy are the how or what needs to be done to reach the goals in the roof. The just-in-time pillar helps support the goals of a lean organization by putting together tactics and activities that create an environment that will have the right product or service in the right place, at the right time, and in the right amount. There are several important philosophies, concepts, and methodologies that are pulled together to create an environment of operational excellence like this. The other pillar that supports the roof is the Jadoka pillar. This pillar is focused on building quality into the enterprise. Although it will vary from organization to organization, some of the concepts used to create an environment where quality excels are mistake proofing, visual controls, root cause analysis, and line stops when needed. A house will not last long without a solid foundation. This anchors the house, bears the load of dead and live weight, and prevents foreign objects from entering the home. 
The foundation of a lean strategy is similar in the sense that for the two pillars to remain stable and bear the load needed to reach goals, the strategy must rest on a stable foundation. The foundation is made up of three key elements, which are standardized work, load leveling, and Kaizen. Combine these elements, create operational stability, and give our home a solid structure to stand on. Like a home, a lean journey needs to focus on developing a lean culture. As you begin to create this culture, you will see employees that are ready and willing to try new things, express innovative ideas, and create an environment where Kaizen occurs. This type of culture requires our lean organization to have respect for all people. People should feel empowered, motivated, and supported. Without this, no amount of taking the waste out will work. To establish this type of culture, people must also learn to think lean. In the book, The Toyota Mindset, Mr. Wakamatsu recounts the story of Toyota. As World War II came to an end, Toyota was struggling. They had very little resources and their production levels were less than 10% of Ford's mass production lines. Taiichi Ono, who was the chief engineer at Toyota, immediately began studying Mr. Ford's methods. He believed that his factory had excessive waste in it. He came to the conclusion that if he could eliminate waste from Toyota, he could match Ford's mass production system. The Toyota production system focused on reducing costs by eliminating waste. This transformed mm. traditional thinking and gave mm. curiosity to the idea that people did not have to work overtime, but rather they needed to eliminate waste. Many years later in 1996, Dr. James Walmack outlined the core principles of lean thinking in the book, Lean Thinking. Over the years, these five core principles have been innovated many times. The first principle of a lean thinker is to specify what is considered value and what is considered non-value from a customer's perspective. In short, define value from the customer perspective. Once we have a clear understanding of what activities our customers are willing to pay for and what activities they are not, we can then make all the activities in a process visual. This is done by seeing or revealing the value stream. The value stream will reveal areas where issues, constraints, and even opportunities may lie. Lean thinkers see activities and think to themselves, is that adding value or is that waste? The next principle is to make value flow by eliminating waste. We will learn more about waste later on. Dr. Womack then advises that we make value flow only at the pull of the customer. In other words, we work based on real customer demand, building the right part at the right time and in the right amount. The final principle reminds us that while it is important to celebrate small wins and improvements, we must always strive to be better than we were before. We do this by always pursuing perfection. We've covered a lot about lean already, but you may be wondering why you haven't heard anything about the 5S system, value stream mapping, or quick changeovers. Well, these catchy names that are often associated with lean are actually some of the most powerful tools used within the strategy. Together with concepts like Genchi Jinbutsu, a Kaizen spirit, challenge, respect for others, and teamwork, we arrive at lean. Many times a thought process involves replacing old patterns of thinking with new ones. One way this can be done is through repetition. As you continue through your journey, you will find that many of the activities are intended to replace current thoughts with new ones. This is one reason why it is so important to complete all quizzes, lectures, and activities. 
With that being said, let's move on to the next lecture.